In this video clip, I will tell you about FRET, fluorescence resonance energy transfer, or Felstad resonance energy transfer. FRET is a process of energy transfer between two chromophores. Let me give one example. What you are looking at here is CFP, cyan fluorescent protein. This dashed line indicates the excitation or absorption spectrum of CFP. And the solid line indicates its emission spectrum. Now, for example, the CFP absorbs 440 nanometer uh, or uh, UV light and emits 480 nanometer cyan fluorescence. When when YFP, uh, yellow fluorescent protein, exists nearby, the cyan emission from the CFP is absorbed by YFP because the excitation spectrum of YFP is overlapped with emission spectrum of CFP. So this area of emission can be absorbed by YFP. That is FRET. The energy transferred to YFP is emitted as yellow fluorescence at 530 nanometers. When these two proteins are located far away, the energy transfer no longer happens. And you cannot observe the yellow fluorescence. The FRET is sensitive to distance between the two chromophores. The efficiency of FRET is inversely proportional to the sixth power of distance. In other words, FRET allows you to measure the distance between the two chromophores by looking at the fluorescent color change. How can we use FRET to make tools for biological investigations? I will give you a couple of examples. The proteases are enzymes that digest proteins. They play important roles in many biological processes, from simple digestion of food proteins to highly regulated cascades, such as the blood clotting cascade and apoptosis pathways. This idea allows you to monitor protease act reactions in cells or in tissue. Uh, in this design, CFP and YFP are connected with each other through a peptide subs the peptide substrate of a protease of interest. When the protease is inactive, or absent, UV uh, excitation should be combated to yellow uh, fluorescence emission because of the threat here. In contrast, when the protease is active or present, the peptide linkage is digested and CFP and YFP are separated. The threat no longer happens so that you observe cyan emission only. By looking at the color, you can detect the activity of the protease. It's a nice idea. So I'll give you another nice idea. The idea is called Chameleon technology. The chameleon is an engineered protein of uh, GFP variants to visualize calcium levels in living cells. This genetically encoded sensor was created by professors Roger Chen and Miyawaki. The chameleon is a fusion protein of two fluorescent proteins, carmogenin and the carmogenin binding domain of myosin light chain kinase called 
M13. You see four different proteins, CFP, carbamogrine, M13 peptide, and YFP. In absence of calcium, the structure of chameleon is relaxed so that threat does not happen. You observe a cyan emission from CFP in this case. In the presence of calcium, a carmogrin uh, segment binds to four uh, calcium ions and four them. The calcium bound carmogrin is able to bind to M13 peptide right next to it. The structure of chameleon becomes compact, then compact enough for threat between CFP and YFP. Therefore, in the presence of calcium ions, you observe yellow emission. The genes of these four proteins are joined, uh, uh, joined uh, linearly to make a gene for chameleon. Such fusion genes can be introduced into a variety of cells for calcium monitoring in living cells or animals. Please watch different videos showing calcium monitoring in living cells. Uh, they are really cool.